All right, so I wanted to do a little bit of comparison here to see how this was turning out uh, to uh, the other gears here that I've got. So one of the first things that I was most concerned with was trying to make sure that this angle, and how did I do it? That this angle very closely matched this angle. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that's looking pretty good there. Um, one thing that I was aware of before even getting to this point here was the difference in height from this to either of these two. Um, let's see here. So in comparison to this one, I'm a little bit high. In comparison to this one, I'm a little bit low. So I can, I can deal with that. I can live with that easily enough. But as long as the angle matches, I can, you know, do something to compensate for that. Um, the other thing was I was checking the width that I have across here. And that's what I want to kind of address tonight when I get this thing back on the lathe is I am, I zeroed this out already. I can take off almost another 200 thousandths off of this outer edge here. So I've still got the lathe set up to this angle here. What I'm going to probably wind up doing is throwing it back on the lathe tonight and taking a little bit more off of that. Then, when it's all said and done, hopefully the height of this will more accurately um, align with the height of that. I mean, when it's all said and done, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Uh, and I know I've said that you know multiple times throughout this build, but it really doesn't, considering the fact that this is you know not going to transmit a lot of power. It's not going to be a high-speed uh, component, you know, under heavy load, anything like that. So as long as I get something that has <laughs> more teeth left than that, I'll be hunky-dory. So anyways, I just wanted to make a few comparisons on that and uh, see where I'm at with it. So far, it's looking pretty good with a little bit more TLC. I'll have a gear blank that I can work with. 